Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this short video on turning your harvest data into insights. Uh, this is going to be just the basic agenda of what we're going to go through is what you get when you upload data into your Farmers Business Network account. We'll go through how to actually add that data and then some of the common and frequent questions that we get around uh, data uploads. So first and foremost, uh, our data team works with thousands of farmers and millions of acres of data. We've got over 37 million acres of harvest data, over 32 million acres of planting data, over 45 million acres of application data. So what does all this uh, data do? When we're working with these huge numbers of uh, data points, we're able to combine them and create really, really valuable insights uh, for our members. But those insights are completely attached to the data that our farmers upload. The value of the network is dependent on our farmers sharing information. So that's why it's so important for you guys to upload data. Uh, if you guys have any questions around uh, uploading data, the process, our contact information is here below. We'll make sure that we share that again at the end of this video. Um, but I really want to emphasize that this, the success uh, and the learning that comes from our data is dependent on you guys, the members. So uh, Farmers Business Network, what is Farmers Business Network? We are a network of farmers and we put farmers first. So we want to bring power back to the farm for our members. And we do that by democratizing access to data, providing unbiased analytics, and creating a world where seed dealers and equipment dealers and crop buyers, they compete for our farmers' business instead of the other way around. So by bringing all of our members together, by having, helping them share information and performance data anonymously, we're able to provide our members with the information they need to make better decisions. So bottom line, when you provide data, uh, it helps us get you better information, make better decisions, and get better outcomes. All right, so what are the actual features and benefits? Like what do you actually get out of the software when you contribute data? So we've just highlighted six key core features. You get a lot more than this when you upload data, but these are some of the top features that our members rave about. Um, so we're going to touch on them briefly in case you're not familiar with this. Maybe you're a new member, um, or maybe you haven't touched all the different ways that FBN benefits you. But uh, these are some of the top analytic features that we have. So first, Seed Finder. So Seed Finder is our database of thousands of seeds with millions of acres worth of data. Uh, it is an incredibly powerful tool that you can go in and you can see hey, what are the yields associated with all these different thousands of seeds? Uh, what are the prices associated with them? How do these seeds respond to half a dozen different variables like population rate and nitrogen levels? Um, like, and now we've also recently just added this feature of seeder labeling where you can see if a product is sold uh, under multiple brand names or under multiple products and it's identical genetics, will elevate, hey, this product is also sold as these other products. So you can go out into the market and you can find the most efficiently priced product for the same genetics. Uh, this is an incredibly valuable feature. So I've talked, like, I just gave a really simple explanation for it, but to illustrate how valuable this is, we've saved one member um, or one member discovered that they were paying $97 per bag more than the uh, least expensive bag with the exact seeds that had the exact same genetics. So like, if you think about that as a 30,000 seed uh, population rate per acre, you're talking about somebody who spent $42 an acre more than they needed to had they had this information. That's the value of this information. If you spread that on a thousand acre farm, we're talking about a $42,000 savings. So incredibly valuable information. And it's a feature that's valuable because our members are contributing the data to help us create this information database. It only works when members uh, contribute data and therefore it's only available to members who are contributing data. Uh, so yield potential is another great feature and it's actually based on the information, the backbone is that uh, seed finder database that we just talked about. So what yield potential does is it helps you find the best seeds for your specific uh, fields. What we do is we com combine the unique information about the soil mix on your fields with the millions of acres of data and across the thousands of seeds in our database and we say based on the profile of your field, these are the top seeds that you could be, you should be considering planting um, because we know that these seeds have been performing well on this soil mix. We can even compare what you've done in previous years and what you've previously planted on that field and what yield you've gotten 
out of the expected yield you would get through one of these recommended seeds and show you the potential increases in revenue that you could potentially get by planting one of the seeds that SeedFinder is elevating. Maps is another super valuable feature. Um, we have a ton of different powerful maps, so maps based on application data, based on harvest data, based on uh, the natural features of your fields, um, and you can use all of those to analyze your different activities and practices. We also make it super easy for you to do map overlays, so you can compare your harvest map to your uh, soil mix map. You can compare your harvest map to uh, the different applications that you've done in the field, and you can mix and match those, those data very easily to try and find additional insights to drive up yield. Benchmarking, uh, when you upload data, you can benchmark across a number of different variables, right? So first, you can benchmark uh, on your farm year over year. So you can look at what your data did last year versus your data this year. You can benchmark your farm against other farms in your county. You can benchmark your farm against people within 100 miles, within 50 miles, and then drill down and kind of filter to farms that have similar conditions. So for example, are you at a field with irrigation or a field with non-irrigation? You can do this at the farm level, but you could also do this at the field level. So if you have problem fields that you really want to benchmark and look at uh, a little bit more deeply, this is a great tool to say, okay, well, how is this field performing? How are other fields that are similar performing in my region? And start to dig in on insights to really bring that field back up to par for the rest of your, uh, rest of your operation. This is just an example of uh, uh, some of the data that you would get in the, our benchmarking feature. So you can see the, a number of different variables that you can dig into and see whether you're overperforming or underperforming against uh, your comparison group. Our annual report is something that when you upload data, this is just a report that is packed full of data. You get a ton of insights. I could not possibly go over every insight that you get in this annual report because there is truly so much in it. Um, but it can make, help you do a ton of things, including benchmarking, yield distribution, yield trends, which fields are your most profitable, which seeds are, are your most profitable, uh, precipitation, heat progression for each field. There's a ton of information in here, uh, and it really is just a valuable report that you can grab, roll up in your armchair, and really dig in and say, all right, well, like, what are the things that I'm going to try this next year to make my get even more margin, make my uh, operation even more productive. So these are just like, those were six of the really top features that uh, our farmers love to see and all features that are really only available when you contribute data. I'm going to pass uh, the mic now on to my partner, Matt Herman. He leads our data collection efforts at Farmers Business Network. He's worked with thousands of farmers in our network to help them get information off of their machinery and equipment and into their FBN account. Uh, and he's a super knowledgeable guy that can help uh, can just talk over how we get data into the account and uh, some of the ways that, uh, some of the fam uh, most frequent questions that we receive around getting data into our account. Thank you, Mike. Yep, so as Mike said, I'm Matt Herman. Um, I kind of lead up our data operations and I'll kind of go over um, how do you can get information into FBN. Um, there's a couple different ways that I'm going to look at it here. Um, the first way is through your actual FBN account. So if you log into your FBN account, there is the My Data ta tab up at the uh, up at the right, up at the top right, where you can click on that, and you'll see uh, three kind of three different boxes that we have. There's precision files, contract files, or other files, um, and you can select which of the files you want to upload. Click Add New, um, and it'll upload it there. A um, couple things to note here. Is that uh, we kind of ha that we have unlimited storage in this part of the site, um, so you can upload as many files as you as you want. Um, find find the old USB in the bottom of that drawer and upload it, and we'll go through and we'll get it in there. Um, the other way that you can take file or email or send files is through our data at email. Um, you can email on that data at farmersbusinessnetwork.com attach any files, invoices, any C tags or anything like that, um, and we'll go through, we'll, uh, we'll process it and anonymize it all. Um, so that's kind of the two um, big ways to kind of get information into FBN. And if in uh, this kind of, this screen's looking at, if you click on the precision um, files part of the data upload, it provides walkthroughs for some of the major um, monitor types um, that we have seen and also kind of give tutorials on exactly what we're looking for. Um, 
and if there's any that any monitors or any brands that you don't see on there, um, please reference the help um, line or the help email um, and we can help provide any other tutorials that we need. The next kind of portion that I want to touch on is kind of the frequently asked questions that we see as um, specifically looking around um, the data aspect of FBN. Um, first question, what if my operation does not have spatial information? FBN is kind of unique in the way that we can support and ingest any information from spreadsheets, uh, manual handheld records, um, scale tickets, any, any, any information that provides yield planting, that type of information, we will completely take and again anonymize it and enter it into the account. So that way you'll have the benchmarking and the analytics um, and the reports that Mike referenced earlier. Uh, how many years worth of info should I upload? Um, there really is no minimum or maximum number of years. Um, of course, the more information that you put in, um, the better your account will be. Um, there, we can provide things such as the benchmarking, and it'll actually show how you did on a crop um, year over year over year, um, which is kind of unique and um, a pretty cool thing to be able to do. Um, so there's no, there's no really min or max. It's whatever you are comfortable with uploading. Uh, what if I run multiple combines in the same fields? FBN has the ability to take information, um, no matter if it's coming from multiple machines, and combine it into one yield map. So if you're running two combines in the same field, and even if they're different brands, um, as long as we get the information from both those combines, we're able to ingest it, process it, and put it together so that way you have one holistic view of how that field exactly did that year. Is there a way to post calibrate my yields within the FBN platform? Uh, within that My Data tab that I referenced earlier, there's a um, button there that says Post Calibrate, where you're actually able to go in on a year crop combination and enter in the dry bushels, the, uh, the weights, and the uh, moistures that you have from scale tickets, and be able to post calibrate your yields. And this will actually flow then. Um, those post calibrated yields back into your benchmarking so you get updated benchmarking and updated analytics um, which is pretty nice and pretty cool. Does FBN work with any other types of information? Um, FBN works with plenty of other types of information. We work with seed invoices for the seed price transparency, chem invoices for the um, chemical price transparency, uh, marketing contracts for the profit center, um, seed bag tags for the seed relabeling project and even soil sampling um, results. Um, there's some cool uh, personalized reports that we can send out if we receive those. So we work with plenty of other types of information and we're always willing to work with any other types of information that you may have. Um, so I wanted to thank you for listening and log in and upload your info today. We're standing by. Um, call us, email us anytime, and we're more than willing to help out any way that we can.